You know what? Normally, I don't address you with glasses on, but it's a vibe. The choir is almost nothing but a vibe. And I'm sitting with distinguished. I'm sitting with royalty, R&B royalty, and it doesn't get any sweeter than that. Look, whether you are a 60s baby or a 90s baby, you, you either know this brother uh, as Mr. Ronald Isaac, or you know him as Mr. Biggs. And, and something told me to come in appropriately. So that's why I'm wearing the shades because I am sitting with the iconic man, the, the, the man who has created the soundtrack for our lives, for life to come into the world because they are, the Isaac brothers are responsible for so many babies. They say, I am, I am not, but this brother is. So it is a pleasure and honor to be welcoming Mr. and Mrs. Isley, Ronald Isley, Candy Isley with me. And I'm sitting next to a beautiful lady who I want them to introduce me to, but I know she is a distiller, a black owned distiller. So first of all, let me just welcome you guys to the vibe of the Quiet Storm. And, I, and you know what, to create the vibe, you need elements to create the vibe. And Ronald, Candy, you guys have developed an element that I think I can use and everyone could use to kind of set the mood, unwind from a long day. And I want you to tell me about that liquid gold. Wow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, boy. Wow, what an introduction, huh? Yeah, what an introduction. <laughs> What, does, what, what came up with the, uh, what was the purpose of it? Well, it started off talking to, to some, uh, some, some people in California talk about a cognac okay. <clears throat> that never, we were talking about it for a couple of years and we got halfway down the road with it and it didn't work out. Mm. And then later we were introduced to Miss Fraxton. And, and, and people told us she's the one. She's the only black to steal her in the country. I love it. So what are you talking about in the country? <laughs> no, it's, she's the only one. And you got to talk to her and see if she wants to do it. And uh, that's what we did. A match made it. And she started us off and just, just with everything that we wanted to, you know, license and you know, what do, she, what, what do y'all want to do? You don't want to do a vodka, you want to do a rum, you want to say, well, man, we can't get involved with it unless we know we know it's tasting the best. You know, we didn't get, you know, we didn't want to just come up with a, something that somebody could taste and say, oh, you know, right, right. and we didn't, we know right. we didn't like it. Exactly. You got to love it. You got to love it. Exactly. <laughs> Miss Braxton and my wife they got involved. They start talking every day. Every day. Every day. For talk. hours and hours and hours on the phone. So, she took it over. You know? <laughs> well, you know, this is a new a new world for us as far as learning how the process works. You know, we you know, this has been a lifestyle thing for him for many years, okay? You sing, you have a drink, you record, you write music. It's part of the creative. the it creative. It's part of his lifestyle. It always has been, and so um, he he always wanted to do something in the industry, um, but it like you said, it just didn't work out. And then we were introduced to Miss Vanessa Braxton, who is the only I'll correct female black female distiller in this country, the only one. So if anybody tells you something different, they're not telling the truth. She has steals mm -hmm. at her facility here in New York City. She buys a lots of them. We've <laughs> seen them. We've toured the, the distillery. Yeah. <laughs> and um, she'll tell you a little bit more about it, but she was an engineer at first, her and her husband. So there, it's a process dealing with chemicals, knowing what to mix together, what not make, to mix together. And, um, and so look at how beautiful. It's classy. Look at how beautiful and dark and 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 just golden <laughs> this and delicious this brandy is it is it is called it is called <laughs> contagious it is called contagious it is distilled and filtered five times um what we're finding is that a lot of women who were are not brown drinkers when they taste this they're so surprised they it's like this they, they give us the same facial expression like whoa it's yeah. smooth, so you don't get that burn. That's why. It's yeah. smooth like 
Ron. Ron. So it's representative of, of who he is and what he does. This is, this is a bottle of smoothness, romance, oh. and lux talking, luxury you're in talking, a bottle. That's yeah. what this is. This represents who, who he is. is. And that's what makes this different. And it's all natural. There are no added things in here that, you know, it's all natural. And I want Ms. Braxton to tell you more about the process and, and um, how special it is. But, um, yeah, we're excited for, to get this product here in New York. This so you, is where our distillery is. And to launch it here in New York, um, we're launching it tomorrow at Happy, no, actually tonight at Happy Cork in Brooklyn. And then at Total Wine in Westbury. So we are very excited. We're very excited that this brand is brewed and created here, and it's going to be, well, because of you, you know, it's, it has legs and it's growing by leaps and bounds. But what got you into the business? <laughs> 1987, that was when I was in college, okay. uh -huh. I used to make funky cold Medina on campus. <laughs> what did you say, college? <laughs> wow. So I've always, I'm a, I'm a retired civil structural engineer. I went to Pratt. Wow. Yeah, I studied engineering. And what engineering students do in their off time? Make some liquor on campus I itself. <laughs> very, you become very creative. Yeah, so my passion has always been there in terms of making alcohol. But you know, life happened, you know, I didn't get into it fully, you know, I did engineering for 20 years, 22 years. But then when I retired from the MTA, as I sat on the MTA board right here in New York, wow. I decided I'm going to open up my own distillery. And it's been very successful for you. Yes. Yeah. And it's about to blow up even more. Okay, that's because, what I like to hear. I mean, who better <laughs> than the Isleys to support it, love what you do, because it's a yeah. quality work. And, and like Candy just said, it's five years? Five, five, five times distilled. Five times, five yeah, that's times. a six-year brandy. So, so, so it's an XO. It's an XO. It's an aged brandy, um, yeah. and it's, it's filtered and distilled five times, which makes it so smooth. And it has this cherry finish. And, you know, I, the thing about Ron having this brandy, brandy has been at the, the backstage of whiskey and, you know, gin and, and, you know, think about all the other brands. And people haven't been thinking about brandy. I love brandy. Mm -hmm. You know, brandy is made from an other vein. It's made from wine. And that's why it has that sweet taste. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you taste a brandy, just like when you taste a cognac, it's distilled and it's finished in a very specific way for you to continue to have that taste. And it has to come from grapes. That's the TTB. That's our liquor laws. We have mm. laws. So when you get that finish, you're getting something that's small batch, but you're getting something that's of quality. And American brandy has quality when it comes from America, and it's made that way. You know what? You don't find too many great brandies. I can't wait to try this. Oh, you're going to love this. I, I'm gonna, <laughs> and more and more, <laughs> though, I, I've learned over the years that a lot of ladies are embracing brown liquor. I was raised on brown liquor too. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of ladies are embracing brown liquor, just like a lot of ladies are smoking cigars these days. Yeah. And it goes, brandy and cognac goes well. Mm -hmm. with yes. a nice, uh, after a long day. Put this against any cognac. Oh, no, that's gonna stop. Okay, me. this right here yeah. is very special. And cognac is a brandy. Yes. You take a look, people, it's just from the region yes. of cognac, so they have to call it cognac. But when you look at the label, it says, Brandy. They make it the same way. Well, if anybody knows how the brand <laughs> would be the brass. Oh. <laughs> with, with, with the ice. Yeah. <laughs> because they put brands together. And, you know, it, they started as a brand. Yeah. You know, and look, when you look back at 1962, uh, then you go to 1969, which was your first number one hit, it's your thing. Uh, from that staying power to you guys deciding to do your own record label, brands. And I know you don't get involved unless you understand the business. I, I respect your, your, you know, your, your just awareness and your wanting to expand this because this sustains the brand of, of, of you, both, both, uh, and both of them to be the CEO and founders of this particular cognac, uh, brandy, and a vodka. 
And Candy, I already heard about your strawberry lemonade martini. That you <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Yes. That's what I yes. I wish I had everything set up the right way because I definitely would have her make one for us. <laughs> but, uh, I love this, and I'm glad. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to do this, to be happy about a product and, and to work the product to the fullest. It, it has to be something, something special, just as special as you are, my brother, because you have been special in all of our lives yeah. for years. And I just want to know, you know, from music to where you are right now, um, how does it feel to know that your life, your music, has touched lives, changed lives, and opened up minds? Oh, it's, it's, it's wonderful. But, you know, uh, every time you do a concert or show up, it's, it's like the uh, God gave you a blessing. And it's always so wonderful. You know, but we, we have to, you know, going back in the day, if, if I heard the information correctly, you, you guys started gospel. Yes, we did. And, and it was kind of hard as, you know, if you grow up in a family that strictly gospel, but you do go into secular music, was that accepted by uh, your parents? Oh, yes. We were taught to do everything from the beginning. And my mother, she taught us the gospel. And uh, I left... New York, and left Cincinnati very young to come to New York to make a record. And we were here a couple of years, and then uh, we did the record Shout, and I wrote that in 1959. <laughs> and that was the beginning, and it, just, it exploded. If anybody has staying power, it is Brother Ronald Isley and the family. They have staying power, and we, look, if there's anything that happened during the pandemic, Liquor never went down. <laughs> no. All of the brands, all the business went down. Liquor went up 250% yes. during the pandemic. And, and we're in political times right now. So some people are stressed out. If you need something to cool out after a long day, you're stressed because you saw something on TV. Aside from turning on the quiet storm, I think you need to pour yourself a glass of Contagious or some vodka and uh, have a wonderful time sipping slowly <laughs> because I think we will definitely enjoy it. Drink yeah, exactly. Yes, Always drink responsibly. Um, we don't want you to hurt yourself or, or get hung over. It's, it's, it's really a vibe, you know, turn on some Isleys, listen mm -hmm. to Quiet Storm and just chill with your with your girl, your guy, whoever. That's and all you need. That's, that's, that's it. it. That's all you need. That's all you truly, need. Truly. Uh, before I let you go, though, I have to get your, your thoughts, man. Uh, you know, we lost a couple of good people. Yeah. Um, Frankie Beverly. One who was a good friend of yours. So many, you have so many friends. Mm -hmm. But most recently, um, Brother Quincy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. But when, when you worked with Quincy, was it just on the Q's Juke joint? No, no, he, uh, we did a, a wedding record. You know, and uh, we, we just had a relationship with Quincy through, all through the years. But we had our own record company, he had us on record company, you know, and uh, he's one of the greatest. Yes. One of the greatest. As he has already said that you were as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, look, I suggest and advise that you uh, get this as soon as possible. Where can they find it? Anywhere? We're launching it tonight at Happy Cork in Brooklyn. Um, you can also go to RonaldIsleyLiquidGold.com for more details. Um, you can, some, some states we are selling this online. If it's not in your state, you can actually purchase some bottles. It's perfect timing for the holidays. We just restocked. We ran out and we just restocked. So um, get ready for the holidays. You can also get it in Westbury at Total Wines. We're launching it tomorrow from 1 to 4. You can come by, Ron and I will be there and Miss Braxton. We'll have some bottles. If you purchase, he will sign them for you, take some pictures and- oh, I gotta do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> so that's tomorrow. So you definitely do it. So stop by from one to four at Westbury Total Wines. Liquid Gold. Liquid Gold. How did you come up with that? Oh man, it was a collaborative effort. Um, a friend of ours was saying, um, what about Ronald Isley gold? And I said, what about liquid gold? 
and it just came together like that. I mean, and then the name Contagious was inspired by Ms. Braxton. Well, it was also inspired <laughs> by somebody else. I exactly. Mean, yes, 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 yes. But right. it is definitely contagious. It's delicious. So is this going to be the beginning, you think, of more, more expansion on? Absolutely. We, we plan to expand around the country. Our goal is to make this brandy the number one in the world. Oh, that's not going to be hard. Yes. After one week, it's going to be number one. Yeah. Well, I thank you for stopping by and just sharing your new product, new venture with us. I know it's going to be successful. It's everything that you do. Congratulations thank to you, you on making this wonderful brand yes. come to life. Thank you. And yes. And sit slowly and responsibly, but enjoy the holidays and enjoy the new year with some liquid gold. You can't go wrong. Especially when the quiet summer's on the backdrop. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.